So each and every Monday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Steve has an outstanding show here every trading day, 11 to 12 Eastern Standard Time. Also a great newsletter, Mastering Probability. Now, it's very easy to get Steve's newsletter, folks. Come over to our website at TFNN. Go into newsletters. You'll see Mastering Probability on the right-hand side. You can get Mastering Probability for one month for $149. You get it for six months for $6.95, which is a savings of $199, or 22%. And you can get it for one full year for $11.95, which is a savings of $593, or 23%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, folks. So you can check it out. You're going to get Steve has a huge amount of information on his page, which would be your page when you subscribe. You can learn how Steve looks at the market each and every day if you like it. Great. If for some reason it doesn't work for you, 29th day, you cancel it. No questions asked. You get your money back. Steve Rhodes, welcome home. Well, thank you. Thank you. Uh, it was a great journey. A I great bet it journey. was. Yeah. Uh, you know, we did pretty amazing things. We visited. We were in Egypt, uh, Greece. In Greece, we were in Athens and Santorini. In yeah. Italy, we were all over the place. We were in the Amalfi Coast. Yep. We were in Florence. We were... In Venice, we were in Lake Como, we were in Milan. Sweet. So it was pretty packed. But, uh, you know, just a couple, just kind of the highlight reel uh, for you. The very first, so it took about uh, 30 hours to get from here in Palm Beach to uh, to where we were going in Cairo. Okay. And we, we landed about 2 or 3 in the morning. The very first site that we saw, and it was very busy. Where it's 2 or 3 in the morning. We're like, what's everybody doing out? Yes. But. That's just simply the way it is. The very first site that we came across was the Citadel of, of uh, Saladin, which goes back uh, uh, to the 13th to 19th century. The, for 700 years, the rulers of Egypt uh, were in this, uh, you know, this fortress, so to speak. But really cool. Wow. You know, just, you know, this goes back to 1176. All of a sudden, you realize, you know, you went from Palm Beach, Florida, you know, <laughs> really, you're in Cairo, Egypt. That's you know? crazy. Right? I mean, you're really oh, look at that in... picture again. Here, put that picture up. I, I, oh, my it's, God. Yeah, gigantic wow. fortress. Just a gigantic uh, fortress out there. So that's the first thing that we saw. Then we okay. get to the hotel room. We try to get a little bit of sleep. Six hours later, we're back on the road. And uh, the very first thing that we went to was the oldest mosque in Egypt. So I wanted to do as much as we could the oldest yep. um, types of things. You I know, can try see to that. get back to the beginning as much as we could. So sure. we, said a, we said a nice prayer in this mosque. Uh, from here, we then went to visit a church called Abu Surga, and it's the cave where supposedly uh, Jesus and Mary sought refuge for three months. So it's in really good condition. Uh, the lower left is actually a part of the original floor. It's, it's the floor just with glass over it. Uh, so that you can really see what, you know, what that supposed, what that, wh where Jesus and Mary actually walked yes. on. So that was kind of cool. It's actually one of the oldest churches in, in Egypt. Wow. And then we visited the site where uh, supposedly baby Moses was plucked from the Nile. Now, okay. this red arrow, Tom, yeah. is really where this synagogue is located. And, and what they're telling us is the, that the Nile River has changed substantially over the last 5,000 years and actually backed right up to, to that spot. Okay. So it's pretty cool within like the first six hours. We're seeing all of this stuff. Man, your head you know, must have been just, twisting. That's cool, man. Wow. Yeah, and it, it just really makes you think. You know, you just stop for a moment. So we said prayers everywhere. Yep. Um, and then the very next day, we, we did some other things during that day, but then the very next day we were off to the uh, pyramids. Now I haven't done any history, any background checking on Egypt. And what I was surprised, there's over 100 pyramids throughout right. all of Egypt. I just thought there were just a handful, yes. you know, um, uh, you know, which are basically the burial grounds for pharaohs or, or, or some of the kings out here. This pyramid, which is called, uh, I might pronounce it incorrectly, Dozier, yeah. was built during the Third Dynasty. This is the oldest complete stone building complex ever built in history. So that was kind of cool to go back to that. So here, let, we me, let me get this yeah. straight, because that one that you're just looking at, right? We're, yeah. we're right now in... 2023, but that yeah. said that was before, before Christ of 2630. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> right. exactly. Wow. You just start adding the numbers and you're like, I know. This, okay. this, is, this is really history out here. Oh, yeah. Then we went to this pyramid. This is called the Red Pyramid. The only reason it's called the Red Pyramid, or, or a reason why it's called the Red Pyramid, is depending on the sun, the way that it hits it, it has this little red reflection because of the stones that were actually used there, the limestone that was used there. This was built between 2575 and 2551, before what they used there, before the common era. So you're really going back in uh, time. And, and if you take a look at this red arrow, it's about... 
it's the, the actual entrance is about three quarters of the way up. It's a good halfway to three quarters of the way up. So we walked up there. It looks like this. You can kind of see a little bit of a path, and then yep. you, st- you know, and then it gets kind of a little weird. This is my wife. I've actually got a picture of her coming. So you have to walk up. It's not a simple walk, Tom. It, you, it is a walk. Up I there. bet. And then you've got to walk all the way down, bent down the entire way to get all the way to the uh, burial ground in, inside the bottom of the uh, inside the bottom of the pyramid. Wow. The problem with this pyramid is there were a lot of bats that had got in there, <laughs> and so the, the bat crap, if you will, smelled a lot like iodine. So oh. we we only got like halfway down, and we had to turn around. Just you're just worried about. Right. You know, it's it's stone. It's cement. You fall. It's, it, you know, it's not going to be easy. No. Out there. Yeah. But the, one of the coolest sites, I would say, of everything that we saw in Egypt, one of the coolest sites that we saw, Tom, was this. This is when we were coming out of the old area of pyramids, the first ones that we saw. And what I noticed off to the side was that there was a new ruin. This ruin has been discovered over just simply the last about year and a half, maybe two years, but just in the last two weeks. And this is they think that this is a burial ground. They pulled out uh, two sarcophagus, sarcophagi, I guess you'd call them. Yeah. Uh, the first mummy that they found was a man that was completely covered in layers of gold. We saw mummies where they're actually supposedly you could actually still see some of the hair. It's, wow. It's insane. I know. You know but but this was so what was cool about this was we were in basically a place where you had the oldest pyramids, the experimental pyramids, you know, that they used. And then they're coming across new findings out there. Right. Who knows what is underneath that uh, desert uh, sand that's out there. Finally, we made it to the Great Pyramids and the Sphinx. And that was certainly cool. The rocks there are just gigantic. The boulders that they use to make this thing, it's it's truly an amazing thing. Then from there, and this was kind of cool, we went on to uh, to Athens. And so th- this is a, ru- a view from my room. Okay. And uh, you can see the Acropolis up top. You can see the Parthenon up here. But the reason I took this picture, it was about 5 in the morning, 4, 435 in the morning, was it was the only way that I could get a picture of the full moon coming up over the Acropolis, right? And so, seeing for, the new with the old is pretty cool. That's crazy. Oh, oh yeah, no doubt. You know, so very cool uh, places out there. It shows uh, how from, small we are, man. Holy oh, cow. No, no doubt. And how smart people were back then, 5,000 years ago. Yep. And building those things. Right. Wow. You know, so I, there's a lot of folks that have talked about the idea, the thoughts that, you know, they were made by space aliens or what have you. I can tell you by personally walking down into some of these things, the hieroglyphics, the painting that's on there, the inconsistencies between one place and another. This is all this is man-made. Right. I, I don't I don't right. buy into that theory. But after that, Tom, we were off to Santorini. I think you've been to Santorini. This yes. is a, called a Scaro Rock out here. It's a real landmark. This also is another gigantic hike. But the cool thing about this hike is when you get to it and you go all the way to the back, you've got a church that's just hanging off, in essence, the side of the cliff. Yeah. It is the coolest thing, coolest uh, spot to see. So we didn't get to the market. Sorry about that. But uh, this was more what important. A, what a great trip to go back. I'm in time. so happy oh, oh, you did this. Here's the best thing, Tom. Here's the best thing. I had lunch with uh, one of our traders, MUK and the Tigers Den in Florence, Italy. I love it, man. How cool is that? The tigers and tigers are growling and prowling all over the place. Absolutely. You have a great one, a safe one. We look forward to speaking tomorrow, Steve. Thanks, Tom. Thank you. Bye bye. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.